Hey guys, Chris here for GQ37, and today's video is brought to you by LastFit. LastFit is a car company that makes a lot of accessories for your vehicle, from floor mats to different lighting and LED. And that brings us to today's video, which we are going to be doing the LastFit Pro Series D2S HID to LED conversion. I've been eager to try something like this because I've always done the 6K um, HID upgrades on my vehicles from G35, G37, my FX QX70 that I have now, and uh, I just wanted to try something different with the Z here. I've always done that, and the LEDs have come such a long way. I've heard so many good things, and these have nothing but five-star reviews here on the site. And so uh, I really appreciate LastFit for sending these to me, letting me try these and to do this video. Um, by the way, use promo code GQ37 and get 10% off anything on the site. Not just these, but any lighting or anything else you see on the site that you want, whether it be for the Z or any other vehicle. Um, use GQ37 and get 10% off at any time, all right? Um, and what's cool about these lights is this for the D2S and D2R, so it'll fit virtually any Nissan and Infiniti vehicle from not just Z, but G35, G37, Q50, 60, FX35, FX45, 50, QX70, you, you get it. Anything that uses that bulb, you're, you're, you're gonna be in good shape. So uh, without further ado, we're gonna dive into this package. Looks pretty cool, we've got some nice stickers in here. Uh, the uh, LED bulbs themselves have fans on them to keep them cool, and we've got the power. This is a plug and play unit, but you do have to replace your ballast. So we do have to remove the headlights out. Unlike other videos in the past on my G37, you know, you can get into the light housing from the wheel well, the fender liner. You can remove that, take the wheel off, and get to that. And that works really well. Um, for without having to take the bumper off on the G37 or something and the FX and QX you can come topside from the vehicle but with the Z for one there's that washer bottle that is in the way on the passenger side when you're doing that but two we've got to remove the whole headlight housing for this because we are having to remove the ballast from the actual light itself so you do have to remove the bumper and those four bolts uh, to get the light out but it's not that bad I will walk you through it every step of the way to show you how to do it and there's one tricky part to getting to that harness on the lights and I'll show you how I got around that as well uh, so uh, we're gonna do this together guys and I'm gonna show you I'm very impressed with the lights I'll go ahead and tell you that um, so uh, they they look good I can go ahead and I can see a definite difference between the OEM lighting for sure and then these so uh, so definitely uh, happy to show you guys this so here we go all right guys so first things first uh, disregard how crusty looking my Z is right now it's about to get repainted uh, next week so it's uh, in some sanding stages but uh, anyway uh, I did buff the headlights though recently so we're gonna go ahead and get started with taking off the uh, the front bumper so you've got these six plastic uh, fasteners here and they, there is a tool for, for helping these to come up, or you could use a flat um, flathead screwdriver. Often, these do break. They, are, they do get brittle with time, and so uh, you may find yourself replacing them. I'll put a link in the description for uh, a kit that comes with plenty of plastic fasteners, so it doesn't matter if you break them or not. also comes with this tool as well, because it's nice to have these when you're working on the car. Hi, uh, so you want to say hi? Hi, that's Liam. All right, so we want to, uh, to remove these six, and then there's about eight to 10, uh, 10 millimeter bolts underneath the bottom here um, that we've got to take out. Some cars may have more than others, depending on the age of the car and if some have just been left out over the years. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out now. All right, so after you remove all six of those and the eight to 10 bolts underneath uh, yours, uh, your, your bumper in the bottom, mine did not have quite that many. Um, you've got two more 10 millimeter bolts uh, that are going to be here and here. Um, you kind of have to pull back your, your uh, wheel lining uh, and the, the fender here. You may have to turn your wheel one way uh, to get to them a little bit better. They're kind of a pain. I'll show you on this other side. All right, so the two bolts you've got, this one right here and that one, if I can point to it, right here. So you need to take those off and then the bumper will be free. All right, so looking at your bolts, you've got this one here. You've got one hidden back in here and you've got 
one here. It looks like this one as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get removing those and uh, see what else is holding this in here. All right guys, so those four bolts came out nice and easy. One, two, three, and four. However, what is the, probably the most difficult part of this whole thing is not being easy is this um, wire harness right here. You can see it, you can get to it, you can even grab hold of it, but I cannot squeeze it hard enough to unplug it and pull down. It's just, I put angled pliers on it and everything. So what I'm gonna try to do, since the headlight is loose, is take this bracket off and see if I can flip the headlight up and, uh, and get to it that way. So taking these two 10 millimeter bolts out and see if I have luck with that. Once I took that bracket off, I was able to get to that harness from above and get the light free, nice and easy. All right, you'll notice I'm wearing gloves. I usually do when I'm working on cars, but especially with light bulbs. Um, the LEDs, it probably doesn't matter, but HIDs, you definitely want to uh, handle those with care and, and not get your, your oils on them. Um, even though I'm removing this, I'm still taking care of uh, the bulbs because, if, you know, if I go to sell the car or something, I, I, I'll, I'll want to put them back in. So anyway, you remove that cover. So you turn. There we go. And then you can free the bulb. You uh, push in and out. And there is your HID bulb there. All right. This is a Philips made in Germany. All right. So I'm going to work on freeing this harness and then we will put in the new LED system. All right, so that's how you get the ballast out. It's too big to come from this way, so you have to unhook it from here to pull that out. All right, and this, it's hard to get off, but you do squeeze and pull it. So, well with that free, we are now going to work in our LEDs. All right, so this is just like the OEM bulb in that it has these guides. Let me rest this here. So you've got this notch, which is your 12 o'clock position, and inside the housing here, you have this notch right here, and you're gonna line it up with that. Use that as a guide. And if you guys see that, there's a little ant crawling on me. All right. All right, so you're just gonna push the wire pin clamps, whatever you want to call these things, back into their, their upright position. And then we're going to feed this harness through and catch it on the other side with said plug here. Get some tools out of the way. that in like a glaze air freshener all right there's that I feel like all right so one more thing about these and I'm just using the second pair outside of the headlight for demonstration but when I first put it back in the vehicle to plug in the harness it didn't work and uh, everything was plugged in however what you want to make sure of is that these are plugged in correctly there's positive and negative but they aren't aren't labeled. So if your headlight doesn't work when you first plug it back in, take the dust cover off the back and mess with this. Turn it, unplug it, turn it, and, and try it again. And if that doesn't work, keep doing it. I had to try like three different times before I got the right combination of which side was which, and then it came right on. So if everything's plugged in, just make sure you test this out. You may have to plug and unplug and turn until you get the right positive and negative. Uh, combination on here and then it should work for you. So just heads up on that. This is going to go into that harness. It fits the OEM harness, all right, like so. I'm going to go ahead and take this wire in and 
put those screws back in. Make sure you don't lose your OEM screws. You've got to reuse those. It doesn't come with new hardware. And there's no need for it to. Just keep an eye on your existing ones and reuse those. Put those back in. Alright, now we just plug that bad boy back in. Like so. Also, it's a good time, if you haven't, um, to go ahead and replace any other bulbs with LEDs that you want to while you're in here, like uh, the little parking light. Uh, I went ahead and put an LED in there. Um, I noticed my, I don't know what these are called. These, this, is, this is the, uh, the, the HR lights. This is a 06, and, and the 06, 07, and 08s have these lights. And there's these little LEDs up here. Driver's side works. On my passenger side, this side, these don't come on for whatever reason. And I was hoping there was a bulb in there I could change. But apparently those are some OEM LED that you can't get to, I guess. We're not taking the headlight apart, so I guess I'm just out of luck there. Alright, got that back in. Now I'm going to go uh, set it back in the car, plug in the harness, and compare the last fit 6K LED to the OEM HID. Let's go. Alright, now camera is probably not going to do it justice. It's just super bright, but it does look really good. Now that is the last fit 6K LED. And so we've got our OEM HIDs there that by comparison look pretty yellow. Um, the camera just looks super bright. I don't think it's, I don't think it's really giving you the detail, but this is our OEM HID and this is the last fit. 6k led as i mentioned these things are out on mine for whatever reason all right i'm going to go ahead and back it out of the garage and shine it on the garage door see if we can uh, see any difference all right guys i don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera but i can clearly see a difference uh, of course the last fit uh, led is on the right hand the passenger side and the oem hids are on the left which by comparison look pretty yellow um, as far as the brightness, I'm just going to shine it on the woods here across from my lot and see, see what, uh, what it's looking like. And uh, yeah, I mean, they look plenty bright. There's, there's the brights. Um, the OEM looks like it may have a higher pattern on the left. But the coloring on the, on the passenger side, I can definitely see the difference. Alright guys, well that is the install. I have to say I am very pleased with these lights. I've been uh, driving the Z to work this week and uh, at the hospital and it's dark when I go there, it's dark when I come home. So I have to always use my lights uh, to and from work. It's a rural hospital, it's a long dark highway uh, at 60 mile an hour and there's no street lights or anything like that. Um, so normally I have to use my brights quite a bit with the OEM lights, and I have not even had to at all with these. Uh, the beam pattern is great, uh, plenty of projection, plenty of spread, and they, uh, they, look, they look great. I love the color. Definitely an upgrade, modernizes the car quite a bit. So uh, what more can you ask for? So thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully this is helpful to somebody that's been considering these or wanted to know what all is involved with the install. It's not that bad. So, uh, so go ahead and go for it. Again, promo code GQ37 will get you 10% off anything on the site. Not just these, but also anything else that you see on the website you might like, even for a different vehicle. So definitely check that out. Thank you, LastFit, for sending these. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Lots more coming on the Z build. In fact, this week, dropping it off to get painted. So I uh, can't wait for that. It's going to totally transform the car. Lots more videos to come because there's still plenty of things I have to do interior and out. So stay tuned. I will see you guys in the next video.